There we go. So that's real time, basically. It's pretty much one stroke per idea. So it's a really quick demo. Uh, how about like snake case, case? Snake case. Uh, there's a rule for that. So you know I was saying you can finger spell. Like the, the left hand can do the whole alphabet, and then you hold down one modifier key. With the, you can finger spell. Like the, the left hand can do the whole alphabet, and then you hold down one modifier key with the right hand, and you get letters. And if you hold down a different key, you get capital letters. And then there's a particular card that says, uh, make the next word camel case. So start with an uppercase and then don't insert a space afterwards. Um, oh, another thing about Steno is you don't have to worry about spaces. It like automatically detects word boundaries, um, which is one area. It's the kind of thing I'm stuck with at the moment because I often end up having words joined together. One area. It's the kind of thing I'm stuck with at the moment because I often end up having words joined together or not joined together. That shouldn't happen like that. And, uh, Can I show you one more thing? I'm, I think this is quite cool. Um, when you're using something like this, so I'm going to type the word silent, which is two, two uh, syllables, but the first syllable is sai, and sai is itself a word. So watch this. If I say, uh, forgive me while I take a moment to compose this. Okay, so that was one, one stroke for sai, and then if I do a stroke for lent, lent is also a word, but silent is a word. So I'm going to say... Uh, L E N T, that should be good. See what happened there? It swallowed up the word psi. E N T, that should be good. See what happened there? It swallowed up the word psi and changed it, changed it into silent. So that's something you often see if you watch uh, uh, somebody typing with steno. You see words appearing and then being swallowed up and sort of consumed by the subsequent characters. It's really cool when you see it happen. Um, it, it sort of looks like an artifact, but then uh, somehow I think it's kind of cool. So. What happens if you want to say sigh at length in the same? Um, so you could.